Scammer alert, scammer alert, scammer alert. This shoe right here is the hottest release of the summer. So you know what that means. A lot of scammers are gonna be trying to sell fakes as real. And that's why your boy is here to show you a real versus fake on the upcoming Jordan 1 UMC toes. On this video, you're going to learn how to spot a fake from a real pair on today's video. And before we go into this very important video, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you, yeah, you can be notified whenever I have learned a video which is every single day guys so to go follow me on my instagram and on tiktok as jason j kicks and now let's go with this video starting up the box right here we have the retail box and right here we have the fake box and i gotta say that they look nearly identical but um the shade of um blue on this one it's a little lighter than the shade of blue on this one. Let me know if you can see this on camera, but I'm letting you know. This is a difference that you're probably gonna need a real pair um, side by side with a fake one in order to notice the difference. But yeah, there's a difference in the shade of blue. So be careful with that. This is a difference that you're gonna be on the lookout. So now let's open both of these. First, let me show you um, the real pair right here. And when we open the box, this is how the top of the box looks on the real one, same as on the fake. But let me see if I can show you here. You see how the shade of blue is lighter on the real one than on the fake one, like I told you. But now let's see what we have right here. A carbon looking box with the number in red right here. And on the fake one, Let's see what we have. Carbon looking box with the number in red right here, but it's almost disappeared. You can't see it as clear like we can see it here on the real one. Right there, you can't compare both of the top of the boxes right here. There you have it, there you have it, but that's just the box. And like I said, you gotta be careful even with the boxes because they're not looking bad at all. Then we have both of the tissue papers. This one is the tissue paper on the real pair. And as you can see, the tissue paper quality is different. You can see lines on the fake pair tissue paper. And on this one, you just don't see lines, but it is only the tissue paper. And there's difference here on the tissue paper. I'm letting you know that. Going through the shoe, this is how the fake pair is looking right now. We're gonna go through them in a little moment. Just let me show you the, the real pair. Okay, there you go. Are you watching a huge difference right now? Let me know in the comment section if you can spot some differences just like this. We're gonna go more into details. And yeah, first let me show you um, the real pair. Look at the quality on the real pair. It's looking really good. The quality on this is really, really good, so. Pay close attention to the details, like the quality. The quality is the most noticeable um, detail on, on a pair of shoes like this, but pay close attention to details like the stitching, the shape, the Nike shed, the, the color of the shoe. Pay close attention to all that. Also, um, the Winx logo. Pay attention to the Winx logo details. Everything, every single detail. Look at that quality leather on this real pair is amazing. I love these, I love these. Now, let me show you the UA pair right here, fake or whatever. And let's see how close they got it. And it's looking really good. I ain't gonna lie. It's looking really, really good. The quality here on the ankle area looks good. The quality here is also good, but it's not as tumble as it is on the real pair. We're gonna take a look at that. Of course, this is inconsistency, but pay attention to that, all right? Look at the Winx logo, the Nike shake, nice leather here on the panel. We're gonna see how they compare side by side with the real one. Look at the black leather and the quality here on the toe. Yeah, we're gonna compare all these on today's video. The color and everything. 
yeah we're gonna look at that and now let's take a look at both of these side by side um by the way this is a size 12 this one right here is a size 8 that's where you can see a size different but for the purpose of this video that's not something that really matters because we're going to compare details and quality the shape you can see right there the shape of both of these and now i'm going to spot a different on the shape of these right now so take a look at both of these shoes right here on the ankle area yeah this fake pair seems to have better quality on the ankle area than the real one but uh, that happens sometimes that happens that's nike that needs to do their stuff a little better but what i want to show you that you can use the legit shed these shoe remember the smaller one is the real the the biggest one is the fake one is that look at that the shape of the ankle area is different on the real one from the fake one let me show you this right quick hold on you see how this one does like a little bounce here and this one goes a little bit more straight look at that right there you can see it there there's a difference that you should look at because like i said at this point is the smaller difference that is going to make the the biggest difference also another difference that i just noticed immediately just like in a box the shade of blue is a little different it's a more muted shade of blue on the real one than on the fake one. You can see that clearly right there. Let's take a look at both of the Winx logo. This is the Winx logo on the real pair and this is the Winx logo on the fake pair. Pretty close, pretty close, but we have a line here all over the Winx logo that we don't have on the fake pair, at least not as noticeable as it is on the real pair so you can use this to legit check your shoe the line here on the on the wings logo should be as noticeable as it is right here also the tumbleness on this pair is a lot more noticeable as well than this one both of these really good quality i gotta say because i'm doing honest videos here and both of the quality leather here are really really good in both of these different but really good in both of these so yeah the, the blue leather here seems to be a little bit more tumble on the real than on the fake and yeah let's go and see here also yeah right here you can see very clear the difference between the shade of blue on this one and the shade of blue on the real one the shape of both of these this one has more clear the hourglass than this one does. So yeah, you can use this also to legit check your shoes. Make sure that the shape of your shoe looks like this on the back and not like this. It's not bad, but it's not the same. That's what I'm trying to say. Now comparing both of the midsoles here, the pattern seems to be a little bit more pronounced on the fake than on the real. Let me know if you can notice this. I'm letting you know, I'm letting you know. Also from right here, I can see a color difference on the bottom of the shoe. Let's see that right here. They look pretty identical, but you can see a difference between the real and the fake in terms of the color of the outsole. And let's go through the quality on the side panel. This is the fake one. This is the real one. Let me know if you can notice differences here. Of course there's differences, but which one looks better, the fake one or the real one? Let me know that in the comment section, guys. Um, in terms of the color of the white area, seems to be about the same. Um, Nike checks, let me see the Nike check. I don't know. Nike check seems to be good. Probably a little bit more fat in this area on the real one than on the fake one, but it's gonna be really hard to tell but if you pay close attention, you're gonna see a little difference here in terms of the shape of the Nike swoosh. Look at that right there. Now let's see the toe of the shoe. Again, different tones in terms of the, of the shade of blue between both of these. This right here is the fake, this is the real, remember that. The quality, the quality is really good in both of these and feels actually, feels about the same. Be careful because these people are doing this people are doing a really good job with their shoes you gotta be careful gotta gotta be really really careful so yeah the quality seems to be about the same but 
the shade of blue is not the same. Remember, the shade of blue should be a little lighter than on the fake one. This is something that you can use to legit check your shoes. Um, the shape of the toes seems to be good. Just a little wider on the real one. And let's see, let's see the shape in both of these. You see how this one is a little bit more like rounded than this one. This one is not as rounded as it is on the on the real one. This is the real one. This is a fake one. Let me know if you can notice this as well. Now let's see the tongue of the shoe. Hold on, let me see. Let me get this better. Just the shade of blue seems to be different. Also, you have a little bit more of space between um, the Nike branding and the top of the tone tag. And on this one, the Nike branding is almost right there at the edge of the tone tag. Both of these, uh, let me see. They feels about the same. Yeah, it yeah, feels about the same. It's only that, pay attention to the, to the tone tag if you want to legit check your shoes. Now, let's see what we have inside. Both of these has extra laces. And let me see. This is the extra laces on the real one. This is the extra laces on the fake one. The color of the box is a little lighter here than on the fake one. And the jump man is a little bit more pronounced on, on, the, on the real one. Also, the shoelaces is more pronounced than on the fake pair. So pay attention to that. Also, um, the shade of blue on the on the laces of the real one seems to be also a little lighter than on the fake one and the texture seems to be different as well. A lot of differences that you can use to legit check the shoe. Also, move to zero is more clear on the real than on the fake. So you can spot differences on the shoelaces box as well. Then moving into the inside of the shoe, both of these comes with paper right here and a black insole with a blue Nike branding. Let me see, let me see the, the outsoles. Let me take them out, hold on. Size eight for the real one. I'm coming, I'm coming. Size 12 for the fake one. And on this one, we have a deeper blue on the real one than on the fake one, the texture. It's also different. You can see it very, very clear here. That is very different from the one on the fake one. Again, smaller difference, but difference anyway. Also, we can see little lines on the insole of the real one that we don't see on the fake one. And the one on the fake one is a little lighter than the one on the real one. So let me know, let me know about that. On the back, we can see here, this is the real one. Remember size eight. We also can see differences right here. You can see that right there. These are the insoles. Now let's see the stitching on the fake one. They don't look bad. They don't look bad. Now let's see the stitching on the real one. The real one seems to have a little bit more stitching than the fake one, is that true? No, nah, actually not, <laughs> actually not. It's just that this one is smaller than this one. Or, or, or are they, are they more stitching on this one? Let me know in the comment section, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, this is basically it in terms of this real versus fake. I show you um, pretty much every detail, every difference that you can use to spot a fake one from a real one. So if this video was helpful for you, I will appreciate that you subscribe to this channel and share the content with your friends so more people know about what we're doing here in case they need help with the issue. That is one of the hardest releases of the summer and a lot of people are gonna go for these and you know that there will be a lot of fake pairs of the issue and you can see clearly how crazy it is. It's gonna be scary because yes, there are differences but they are really close as well. So thank you guys a lot for watching. Make sure to go and follow me right there on my Instagram. It's Jason G Kicks. I'm always uploading pictures, um, sneaker news, all kinds of sneaker content right there on my Instagram. It's Jason G Kicks. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Until the next one, goodbye.